What would you say about Gideon as a character? Do you like him? Uh, and um, what do you think he represents? Is he, has he got a symbolic significance? You know, the funny thing about Gideon is, I mean, I, I invented him, I created him, if you like, he's a character. And sometimes I quite like him and quite sympathise with him and feel a bit sorry for him. And other times I want to give him a kick and say, <laughs> get on with your life, you're wasting your life, you're, you're getting too caught up in, in these ideas. And, you know, he, he makes a mess of his love life, for example. He, you know, he, he, he falls in love with one woman, but then marries somebody he doesn't love or doesn't love properly or deeply enough. So, in some respects, I feel that he's a man that makes mistakes, partly because he's been kind of hamstrung by his own upbringing, and you know, he's, he's things that have happened to him as a child have kind of had this kind of knock-on effect on him. But at the same time, sometimes I just want to give him a good shake and and sort of try and make him get on with things. And it's kind of weird when you've actually invented a character to find that you have that that sort of relationship with them where you, you kind of both like them and, and, and uh, annoyed by them as well. Uh -huh. And I think quite a lot of readers find Gideon, they quite sympathise with him to some extent and then they also find him quite annoying. <laughs> One of the things you, you, you often get is, you know, what can this character mean in terms of wider themes? Yeah. You know, is, is, there, is there a theme that we should be looking at? Which um, you represents, obviously you represent quite a few. So. Yeah. What is, what is, if, 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 he re if Gideon represents anything, I think what he, he represents is that at this stage in history, in the, in the late 20th, early 21st century, a lot of people have, they, they, they don't have certainty anymore. Um, they, 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 they don't have a conviction uh, in terms of religious faith. You know, they don't know that they absolutely believe in God for example, they, you know, they may, lots of people have lots of doubts and questions about that. Or they've lost their faith completely, but they haven't found anything to replace it with. And I think Gideon's in that kind of place. I think he he's, he's in, inhabits that kind of murky grey area in which you could describe as postmodern or you could describe as, as post-ideological, where he doesn't really believe in, in, in anything. And one of the things is that he, he, at one point, kind of considers himself to be pretty convinced agnostic in the sense that he doesn't believe that there's any life after death, he doesn't believe in heaven, he doesn't believe in hell, and then these weird supernatural or apparently supernatural things begin to happen to him, which makes him even question, you know, his own belief in nothing, if you like, so he's, he's caught in that kind of place, but I think that's where a lot of people are today.